Hey guys, it's Jeff here. Wanted to throw out a quick video showing what the effect of having my Thule rooftop box was on my solar. Uh, had quite a few questions on that and uh, I was pretty certain that it had completely knocked it out. And so this video is gonna kind of go through some of those uh, readings um, on the inverter to show where we were with the box on and show you with it off. So I'm up on my roof and uh, I've got the rooftop box completely off, cleaned up the solar panels, but uh, as you'll see in this video, one of the crossbars was uh, blocking it. So that served as another test to see the effectiveness of what happens if uh, one of these panels is, uh, is even partially blocked and whether that really has much of an effect. Um, I've heard lots of comments about how even the slightest shadows on your solar panels will will kind of tend to take them out so uh so here we go we're going to go through a couple of different readings showing a couple of different scenarios and uh also showing how much dirt can affect those uh, output as well so here we go here's a quick view of how obstructed the panels were with my box on all right so here's a look at the solar output with dirty panels and the rooftop box off and let me go up there and clean them Let's see if we get any better results here's a quick look at how much dirt we got on these panels and uh, I think I'll run another test so um, as you can see I've got the crossbar obstructing the panel. This is because I had to move the crossbar to fit my rooftop box. So I'm gonna just see how much of an impact that has um, once I move it. So let's just take a look. All right, so this is uh, interesting. So I went up and cleaned the panels and now everything is stabilized. We've got uh, input of 62 volts and an output of 2.8 amps. And again, uh, keep in mind that one of those crossbars is going across to the panel. So I'm gonna go move that crossbar a bit and see if that makes a difference. All right, so check this out. What a huge difference it makes to uh, make sure that your panels have a clear, unobstructed view to the sky. I had that crossbar going across two of the panels and it just really, really impeded the performance. So getting a nice 73, 74 volts of input with a nice 6.2 amp output. Looking good, much better. All right, so I thought I'd take you on one final look at where I'm at. Um, I'm at 92% SOC right now, but I just wanna show the total current draw uh, with those clean, unobstructed solar panels. Um, so right now we're at zero. Uh, my Firefly display is kind of going back and forth between idle, discharge, charging, uh, but I'm showing total current here as zero. With the inverter on, with the refrigerator uh, turned on and set at five, just as reference point. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the inverter off now and let's just see if uh, those panels will start charging me up just a bit. And there we go, total current 1.3, 1.4. So we're getting a bit of a charge going, uh, which is nice. We've got um, some good full sun here in Southern California today. Nice warm day. Glad I took that box off, um, although I don't rely on solar a whole lot. Uh, but it did give me the opportunity to kind of run through this test and uh, until ski season comes back and I need to throw that thing back on, I think I'll leave it off and enjoy the better gas mileage and, uh, and a little juice along the way. So I hope you enjoyed this video, found it useful. Uh, please leave a comment if you'd like to share any information, have any questions, although I'm not an expert at all of this uh, Ranagey stuff. Um, I'm still learning a bit every day as, as I think we all are. So anyhow, leave a comment if there's any other useful information that I left out that you'd like to share with the community, I'd appreciate it. Take care all.